Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Right here in Nethergard Keep, where it's all happening. We're level 60 now. We've got flying mounts. Uh, oh, hang on. Um, ooh. Figured out how to max the graveyard out in Graveyard Keeper. This is something we couldn't figure out. I'm looking forward to finding out what this bit is. So anyway, I had some posts. It was from Kroll. Do you remember we, we, we pressed return? He's, yeah, please press the right button. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. Please press the right button. Good, good, yeah, good advice. Sound advice right there. So if I just do it like that, take all. There we go. We have pressed the right button. We've now got them all. So let's just very quickly learn these. And you go to cooking like that. Let's see what we've got. So we've got mithril-headed trout. That's a 175. That's a, a grey level down there. And then we get some mite fish steak. Ooh, that one's good. So we want some large raw mite fish for that. Um, again, we're going to need our cooking to go up quite a bit. Rock scale cod. That's further down. That one's down there. Look. Uh, cooked glossy mite fish. Requires level 35. Cooked glossy mite fish. Yeah, that, that one's way down on the list, that is. Uh, and then we've got Fillet of Red Gill, requires level 35 and need anything else, but yeah. Uh, hot Smoked Bass, right there. Again, that's cooking to four. It's the cooking level that we want to be looking at, isn't it? Hot Smoked Bass there. The Raw Summer Bass, those uh, in the springtime and reaches maturity in the summer and can only be caught in those, sum in those seasons. So it's not like the pets. The pets is only actually in the summer, uh, in, in the... Uh, the, the summer and the winter. There's not actually any other time. So we've still got a week before we can go and get that pet. It's the 21st. Then we'll be able to go and get the the pet in question um, that we were looking at down in... Uh, sorry, in Winter Spring. The one down in Silithus. We're not going to get that until next year. Giant Clam Scorcho. Requires level 175. So there's another one. That'll be a grey quality, but it's... Another recipe that we got, short order cook, learn 50 cooking recipes, that is absolutely brilliant, thank you very much Kroll. There is another achievement under our belt, achievements are always good. Now it doesn't actually increase the total number of achievement points, because it's one that we've previously done on a different character. We're up to Iron Poor Chef, learn 240 recipes. But, as I haven't done very much with uh, cooking at all on Frithgar lately, um, when I say lately, I mean in the last several years, there is always the op the chance that this character will end up learning more with cooking than the Frithgar did. As we now have flying, we can go flapping over the top of this lot. We'll, we'll ignore the, the, the level 60 nasties there. And our first one that we want to go to is over this way, the Amulet of Alistarge. That one is... Actually, that's... Near the entrance over here somewhere. Where is that? There's oh yeah, of course there was there was like a dude. Uh, there he is. This person. You right there. Shadow Swan Spellblade. Do you anything to do with it, or is it? No, it's inside the entrance. So it's not this one at all. I've gone blundering into combat, and it's not even this person here. We don't want this person at all. They're they're just like an they're just an extra. You ever watch Star Wars? That person right there was one of the red coats. That's that's all it was. You always knew. When you watch Star Wars, that if they went off to go and do something, um, if red coats went with them, then something bad was going to happen. The people would be taken, the main characters would all be taken prisoner, and all the red coats would get killed. It was just a standard thing. I love the fact that these bouts can fly. It is so cool. It really is. Right, let's go in here then. And this time we're actually going to do Grundorn Jenkins. And we want to go down to there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of these like this. And I'm even going to try and get that guy over there. Not in line of sight. Let's go and get him. I can take these down. I can do this. I can do this. I'm a big tough. I'm, I'm a big tough guy. I can do this. Uh, except that I'm not going to do it if I'm not careful. Let's, um... Let's, let's, let's do this very carefully. Right, Shadow Swan Thug. Let's just finish that one off. That one's down. And then I would go like that. And then I'll start attacking a different one so that I'm not attacking that same one. I want a flash of light there and then do that. And then I'll do that as well. And then I'll flash of light again. 
like that and then I will throw down some more of these we've got the bubble I've got the bubble don't worry I can still use that one there's another adept that one was putting up a bit of a fight there oh there's a shadow swan thug there that is about to go and another one there we go right so that last one the ritualist is the one that had all the real fight in him but it didn't do him and it didn't do him good enough seriously the fight that we just had right next to you and that didn't wake you up quite grateful for that really because i think one more may have been enough just to tip the scales may have it might not have been we may have been all right we you know we, we could possibly have escaped but uh, i'm thinking it could have been just the one that was needed to tip the scales in the wrong direction Okay, let's go for the Amulet of Grohl next. That's the next one we need for this little ritual that we want to complete. And that is over this way somewhere. We've still got pets that we want to try and get. So we will stop every now and then. There we go. Look, we got a Scorpid. That is an upgrade. It's not a blue. It's, it, it's fine. It's, it, we'll still go with it. So let me switch out a minute. And I'll go with you. Right there. You do have the brittle webbing, which is not very good. That, that could actually cause me some problems. Plus, he got poison as well. If he puts a brittle webbing on me and his poison as well, that's, that's, gonna, that's not going to do me a lot of good. See if I can finish him off quickly. Ooh, okay. Uh, turns out I can finish him off quickly. I can finish him off very quickly. It's another spider come out. I'm not going to put down another turret. What I will do, though, is I will do that. He's going to put that on me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over to the terrible turnip. Like that. He's going to throw something at me. Like that. And then that is going to finish him off. Right. Job done. The turret, though, has still got one round. So we've got to be really careful with this scorpid. I don't want to risk hurting it. But I'll, I'll do that one there. Well, that's all right. Yeah, he's still taking damage from that turret. But now it's okay. The turret is gone. We do that, and he attacks us again, and then we can start doing the strong trap. Right, there deals 49 damage every round. We're going to keep doing that. It starts at below 35%. Uh, capture chance is increased by 25% each time you fail. So, sometimes, I've had people asking me this before, is there a way to, like, boost the trap? I don't think there is. There may be, there may be something that I'm not aware of that is a way to boost the trap, but I don't think there actually is okay so we're gonna go and we're going to view that one in the journal so i've got a level 16 scorpid there that is a white quality pet or uh, no that's a scorpling scorpling is different to a scorpid and i got a level 12 scorpid there so i'm going to release that one there we go and then we've got our brand new one right here this level 16 and i'm busy looking through my book at the moment by the way um, who have we been carrying around with us lately? Right, well, we haven't, we, it was Tiny Big Man was the last one that I took, and I've just, just had someone rudely come along and start attacking me, so I'm going to just deal with him a minute. Uh, but yeah, Tiny Big Man, so the next one that we want is going to be Silver Wolf, and I haven't had a, a Silver Wolf, there's, there's no Silver Wolf in the list. I've looked in the pets list, there is no sign of a Silver Wolf in there. So let's go back to our collection here. And uh, yeah, see, I'm 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 looking for a silver wolf. There is no sign unless I've got it in two words. Uh, Zorta, Ivelios, um, Silver. There's no sign of a silver wolf. So this scorpid right here is going to be renamed to. Hang on, how do I do this? I want you. There, summon. I'm going to summon you. Click here to view in journal. Get rid of you. There, right. Do it over here. There we go. So summon. And then I want to rename you to Silver Wolf. You're not allowed to use numbers, so it's just Silver Wolf the Scorpid. There you go. And it's actually a very, very cool. I, I really like this pet. I think this one does look very cool. And you, you look at like the, the little pinches and everything on it. It, it just looks cool. Right, that just looks a very cool pet. Especially the colouring and everything on it. Look at it. That is an awesome little pet, that one is. 
absolutely fantastic. So anyway, that is the first bit done. We've got that one. Uh, let me just go and have a look in here. Show captured. It's the Scorpling that we wanted to upgrade. So we have upgraded the Scorpid now to a level 16 rather than the lower level that it was. Uh, the Scorpling is still one that we want. We still want to get a green Scorpling if possible. I mean, if, if we can't, we can't, and so be it. Um, that, that's just the way of it. Uh, let me just have a look in here. So you've got Scorpid, Spider, Scorplings down here. So there's a little clump of Scorplings down there that we may be able to go for. And not a lot else by the look of it. So yeah, it's, it's there that we want to go for the, the Scorplings. So we might go and try that, except I think we'll do that in our next episode rather than today. We, we've done enough messing around now. So we want to go over here and we want to dive bomb down into here. We've got a chest, I think, that we want to get from in here. So we want to go inside the ship. In here. Ah, there it is. That's what we're after. There's a little thing there. The head of Grohl. Broken amulet right there. You hear a noise behind you. Ooh. You will never take amulet. Grohl will kill you. Grohl lives forever. Um, Spirit of Grohl. I admire your tenacity and so on, holding on to life when most others would have already gone into the light. So, well, for you, it's probably going into the, the darkness, actually, but um, still. Um, that bit it is no, never mind. Uh, uh, whilst I do admire it, you, you've picked a fight with the wrong guy. You really have. My only undoing normally is that I forget to breathe when I'm underwater. Other than that, you don't stand much of a chance. There's, there's another person here. Gilnean Sailor. Look, seriously, I'm, I'm trying to help you here. I've already helped your mates. And this is the way you think... I don't know. Some some people just aren't grateful, are they? You, you, you bend over backwards to help them out, and this is how they repay you. Right, Amulet of Grohl. We've got the Amulet of Grohl. That bit has now been taken care of. So let's squeeze our way out through here. A rather large posterior out through there. So we've got Oily Blackmouth School over there. Now, an Oily Blackmouth School is something that we could actually fish up. We are a lower enough level to fish up an Oily Blackmouth School. We should be able to fish directly from said fishing school, and we're going to try it. Uh, there's not a lot of fishing to be had in Hellfire Peninsula when we first get to... Um, Outland. However, Nagrand does have fishing. Terracar Forest does have fishing. So we'll be able to do more fishing in there, uh, which is going to be quite cool. I'm quite looking forward to being able to do some more fishing. It would be nice. Um, but obviously, to be able to level up our first lot of fishing, we need to do it here. And that's going to be slightly more difficult if we're off traveling elsewhere. So, you know, we'll grab the opportunity while we can just to get a few extra points. We're up to 57 at the moment, out of 300, okay? 57 out of 300. You realize what's going on here, don't you? It, it, it does take a while. Okay, there we go. There's our little bit of fishing done. Let's go. We've got one more to go and get, which is the Amulet of Savine, which is down this way. And actually... Oh, no, that's over there. The, the Scorplings are over that way. We'll worry about, yeah, like I said, we'll worry about Scorplings another time. We've got some floating wreckages down there. We could go and get, though. We could go and fish those. Might be able to get a bit of something from them. I'm going to leave them, though. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it right now. And again, with the, the, the mining, like we've got the small thorium. We've got so much thorium now that I don't really think we need to worry. I know that it's a big pile of money, and the money would be really awesome. But at the same time, I'm not sure that it's going to be particularly useful. So, Saltflop, the Rockpool Murloc, who's actually someone who will talk, which is unusual. Village gone, family gone, Naga take everything. The Murloc struggles to speak your language. Rockpool attacked, Naga turn, take village. Villagers, Saltflop escape, but others do not. Go south, talk to Chief Neptool. Maybe he survive. We will do that. I also want that one. Murloc, I know that you hold the amulet of Savine. I need it. Fine. Amulet take, but human help rock pool. I think that's a fair trade, really. You know, we, we have just come here and stolen possibly the greatest treasure he's ever known. Um, so it, it's only fair that we do help him out a little bit. 
Fortunately, we can now take to the skies like an ostrich and skip over the top of all of these. So we will do that a minute. And we want to go down over here. And s Ooh, what's going on here? The Naga are taking the... Look! That's a slave train, that is. I don't like this. And you aren't looking quite as healthy as you once did. The Murloc spirit looks upon you sadly. Saltflop did not shame himself by running away. Look behind me and see for yourself. The Rockpool had no hope against the Naga's attack. Though his lips do not move, you can feel the Murloc chief speaking to you. The Bloodwash Naga and the Rockpool Murloc have lived among one another for as long as we could remember. We always had our differences, but never provoked one another. Why then would they turn on us? Neptul looks over his shoulder at the former villagers. You see what they do now? They enslave us, sacrifice us, force us to fight one another. I will stop them, human, and you will be my weapon. Well, looks like we're going in for another fight. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Grundorn Jenkins! Let's go! We're doing this. We're doing it. Go, go, go. Take him down. And you over there. I'm going to haul you in. And then you up there. I'm bringing you down as well. I'm taking... I am taking all of this lot in. Bring it! I say, bring it! Let's, um... Let's, let's, let's just, you know, bring some of the defenses here a minute. I need to work on this pretty quick and fast now. Some of these guys are pretty fearsome. Uh, I've got a crawler right there. Let me go like that with another bomb and then while they're stunned I can do that and then I can go quickly through there. This fell scale crawler is doing me more damage than any of the others are. He's actually a, a serious issue. Look. That guy. Uh, don't go for that one. Leave the, the, the crawler until the end next time. That was very, very nearly my undoing going for that crawler first. Because the others, they all went down with the AOE abilities. Which meant that they're... Means they're quite soft. Well, they were the spellcasters. Spellcasters are soft and squidgy if you can get them. You've got to get them down, though. You've got to get them. There we go. Right, so we've got a whole load of those. Let's just uh, spam Flash of Light a second. There we go. Another one. And one more. Right, that's all looking good. That's, that's, that's looking shiny. And then... I'm going to go over there like that and take you down. I've got three of each so far. Three of each. That's it. And I've only got three here. Not very many. I could I could do better. We will do better next time. But look, see how quickly you can take down the enchantresses. They are very soft and squishy. That's absolutely brilliant. And the barbarians aren't much better. It's those crabs. That The, the crab was the one that I had the weird issue with. Don't get crabs, ladies and gentlemen. That is my advice to you today. Don't get crabs. They are absolutely just a jolly nuisance. Right, I speak from experience here. The crabs are a jolly nuisance. Now, we go over this way. Uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to eat again because we're just about out of food. The gnomish rocket boot. We're not going to worry about gnomish rocket boots. It's not something that we need to worry about. Uh, two seconds. One second. And we're back to 15 minutes. Nice. Right. Now, I'm going to take that one up there. I'm going to hit him with a shield like that. And then I'm going to hit that one. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to taunt that guy. And then I'm going to come down here a little bit further. And I'm going to do that. And I want to get that one down there with the shield. Right. Now I've got several of them all here. Deal with this lot, and then we'll move over and we'll take some more. So long as I am not actually... Oh, I've got, I've, I've got a friend. I've got a friend healer. A friendly healer who stepped in to help. Look at this. He's actually he's leveling up off of my kills. Oh, well, fair play to him. You know, he healed me, so I'm, I'm quite happy to do that. I'm quite happy for that. There we go, and take that one down there and then finally I will remove you as well boom all of them down he healed me up thank you sir I'll salute him there we go salute 
Now we want to run over this way, and I want to grab the next ones. I'm going to take you down, and I'm going to take you down over there. I don't have very many more. I do have an enchantress there. I'm just going to do that a minute and take him. Oh, actually, I've got a couple of these. I'm out of range. If I can get that one, and if I can get that one over there, there's a couple more. Bring them down to here, like this. There we go. Go like that. And then there's an Enchantress over there. We'll wait till she comes a little bit closer before we try to take her out. Uh, she's running away again. It's no good. I don't have very many people here at the moment. But so long as he keeps throwing us his heals, this, this is going to work quite nicely. We, we, we can gather up a load of them. There. There's another lot. Take them out. Excellent. And then I can move on to the next lot. Right, I want to avoid the crab. As always, we don't want crabs. Let's move on round. Is there any more? There isn't. Oh, he's, he's picked up the crab. All right. Well, I, I, I'll call the crab in and it's too far away. I, I'll take care of that one for him. I will fall on this sword for you, sir. Take you down. Right. Get rid of that one. There's some tender crab meat there. Uh, now what? I want to go around this way. I'm going to go around over here. And we've got... I don't have any respawns over that way just yet. I only need... I need three more enchantresses. I've got one up there, which I'm going to grab. Out of range. And then I'm going to go over this way and... I only need the enchantress. I'm going to take that one anyway. And then... I need to get closer. Just pull that one down like that. Very quickly remove that one and then I can get the barbarian. I've got one enchantress over there. And... That's about it. Right. Oops. Yeah. Okay, we got that one. And then there's an enchantress over that way. Boom. We'll take her down. And then the last enchantress is that one over there that I need. And then I am done. So let me go and grab that one a second. If I can. Don't run away. There, I got it. Nope. Let's do that so that I can get them both. There. This is all I need. Take these down. If he calls it, if he pulls in anymore, I'll get them as well. I need a target. And I've got a crab going again, which is a bit of a nuisance. What's he got? Is he running away from them? No, he's all right. Yeah, I would have thought that he would have pulled in another one. If he needed another one, I would have thought that he would have pulled it in. But um, he hasn't pulled more in. So that's fine. See, this crab is he's going nuts here. He's, he's an absolute jolly nuisance. He really is. Let me keep doing it. There, we got that one down. There goes the crab. That's it. Right. I am done. I am finished. So I'm going to salute, and I'm going to say farewell. Till we meet again. He's waving at the fell scale crawler there. Right. Cheery bye. That is it. We're done. He did, we, we did all right there, I think, and it was quite handy having him along to heal us up as we were fighting our way through it. Um, I'm hoping that he got everything, because we did kill a couple of them beforehand, but we, we didn't get very many of them, did we? Okay, you've done well, brave paladin, I am pleased, but I'm not yet satisfied. Oh dear, we've lived under the same waves, breathed the same water, and worshipped the same god. Why, then, would the Naga turn against us? Neptune on the Tide Hunter is our god. He was the god of the blood wash too, but they have turned their back on him, it seems. They now choose to worship only Ashura. Ashara. I think it's Ashara. Uh, the, their Naga queen. You will see likenesses of Ashara littered around their settlements, carved out of sea stone. The Murloc spirit eyes your weapon. That weapon will do. Send it through the Ashir idols. They need to be reminded that our father Neptulon is the only one who truly rules the seas. No number of Naga deaths will bring back the Rockpool tribe, but any amount of revenge will help the spirits of my people rest more easily. Many of the more powerful Bloodwash have set up a fortress in the caverns to the northwest. Slay them in the name of the Rockpool. The remaining Bloodwash have erected gladiatorial pools and the Ashir altars on our beach, where they pit my people against one another and worship their false god. Slay them in the name of the Tide Hunter. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that. Oh, he's still down there fighting those. 
I was wondering about going to help him, but he's actually doing just fine. He's like, he, he's doing a, a lot of kills fairly quickly, so I don't think we need to worry about him too much. I think he's fine. Right, we need to go and get these pools over here. So there's that one up there, and then there's uh, more bits down here. We might be able to get most of it up in this area up here. So we'll go up across this way. Where are they all, then? Is there a cave? Ah, there. I, I know he said there was a cave. This is the cave. And there is those bits. We've got abandoned blood wash crate. Let's go and have a look at that. Need to be closer. Ah. Help. These baby Rutpool murlocs seem to have been abandoned here. You suspect they're in trouble and that Neptune would want you to bring them back to the ocean, where they stand a chance of escaping the Naga. Alright, let's help them. Uh, I need to get them to the ocean. Wait a minute. Oh. Right. Let me just do that a minute. Except there. And take you. And then you. And then you over there. Uh, great. Yeah, we, we, we've got one of these situations where we've got ones with arrows. And, and these, these are a bit of a jolly nuisance, these are. Even if I do that. Oh, hang on. No, they, they are going towards me a little bit. There. So now I've got two of them at least. Um, let me just heal up a minute. There. And take you down. And then if I go towards that one, the one behind me is doing... That's better. There. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Uh, Bloodwash Acolyte. So I've, I've got to get several of these anyway. I can't just sort of leave them all alone. Um, put that down and take him out. It's, it's the guy with the the healing again. Right. I want to go this way. I want to drag. Wait, why aren't those coming with me? Do I need to go back and speak to them again? You're supposed to be going with me. Continue helping. Ah. Uh, seriously? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? I, you waited until I picked it up before you did anything. You, you, you're having a you, you're having a laugh, aren't you? You're absolutely having a laugh, you are. Uh, let me just destroy that statue right there. And then I'm going to go back and pick up this abland uh, uh, abandoned? Abandoned. Continue helping. Let's go. I can do this now. I can get these down to the coast. We've got more acolytes there. These acolytes are a bit of a nuisance. See what I mean? See what I'm telling you? They are a bit of a nuisance. Right, if I go close enough to that one, and then I move over to this one, and then I can get that one as well. Like that. There. Now we're talking. I've got both of them. Get both of them in together, like that, and then I can just very quickly take them down and finish them off, like that. These acolytes are a jolly... It's, it's, it's the hunter one. Anything that's a hunter, is it? they stay back, and you can't, like, stun them or stop them or anything. They, they just stay... Station is spread out and they don't come in. You want them to come in and attack you. Like for goodness sake, please just come in and attack me a little bit more. Continue helping. All right, I'm going to run this way and try to avoid them. Maybe I can be a bit clever about this. Run up there. Up over this way. Keep being clever. I need to keep being clever. Look. Okay, there's a lot of ropes fastened to a lot of these guys. Now where? Uh, oh dear. This could be interesting. I'm just going to have to go right through the middle of them, I think. Got the blood wash fighting pits here. Just... Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's, let's, uh, let's pick them all up now. Let's gather these up. We, we've got a whole load of them now that we've got to take out. Uh, so I may as well get these it's gamblers. And you over there as well. Right, there's three or four of them. Uh, the, the the healer guy is back. He's helping me again. He's still here. I, I, I'm liking the way that he stays around. Let's grab another one then. As he's going to hang around and help me out with this. And then I will do that. Now I can take these down. All i got to do is take these down. And he will do. He will keep me up. He, he will keep me alive. The whole time he's going to keep me alive. Because he's good like that. This guy is actually really huge. The kind of guy that you want when you're in a, in a tight fix, apparently. There, just get those. I got three more to take. There. 
Right, they, they, they'll be both down. Boom. Just like that. Excellent. Right, now, where's my thingy over here? There we go. Take you. Continue helping. I'm going to run this one over. I need to keep going towards the coast. Keep running. Keep running towards the coast, and then we should be able to free these. Get a little bit of an extra something. There's one of those savage crabs over there. Not here. I don't like those crabs. Don't like them. Look. Look at him. Okay, I think that I think our friend has just helped us out with that. How far have I got to go with this? I've now got... I've, seriously, i got to swim all the way out here? Okay, this is... This, done it at last. Right, there we go. Right, the rock pool tadpoles float off and they're nice and safe. And then I've got that one just to finish off. Okay, so we've done that bit. I've got four gamblers I've taken out. I need to take out two. Um... Two more acolytes, and then we need to find some idolaters and some other ones as well. Let me go there and go for a red drake. There we go. Now, where's where's our friend? Our friend has got to be here somewhere. I've got some idols and stuff over here. That is right there. A, that's another gambler. I've got lots of gamblers here. I don't want the gamblers. I'm going to just drop down here and take that one out. And you can do that whilst mounted. That's actually very cool. Uh, well, it looks like you can do it whilst mounted. I don't know if that's an intended feature or not, but it does look like you can do that. And then we want to go over this way. You are a barbarian. I need some barbarians. Let's take you down and take you down. And, and there's the idolaters as well. No, I don't need any barbarians at all, but I do need these. I do need the idolaters. I need you right there. So let, let me take that one out. And they're all coming towards me. Uh, you, you you can come join the party if you like. I don't mind. I got room, room for more. Uh, let's not forget that our friend isn't here at the moment. So we're going to need to heal ourselves a little bit. So let's, let's just do that a minute. Let's just remember that we don't have... All the assistance that we had last time. And there's another one. We've got an idolater there. How many of those? Oh, I need four. I need. I just need two more. Not actually very many at all. You down. There. And another one of those. And then... Oh, I only had three. Is that all I had here? That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. So where are the zealots? I've got those two. Oh, I knew there was something up here that I wanted to get. It's that uh, idol right there. I can just reach it. There we go. So I got four of those. And then uh, take you down. That will be the last one of those that I actually need to get. So I need to find two acolytes and eight zealots. And then we'll be done. We'll have taken out everything we need to take out for these. I don't know why they've suddenly decided to turn their back on their god. Seems an unusual thing to do. I mean, we know this Ashura lady is a... Um, she, she's a bit of a jolly nuisance at times. It, it has been mentioned previously that she can be a bit of a jolly nuisance. So I've got that one there. So yeah, if I can just sort of fly in and do it like this. Ignore them if I can. There we go. Ignore them like that. That's what you got to do. Just let them hit you. And then go for it like that. And you're able to do it. It's working quite nicely. I can cope with this. I need to get two more of these guys. And then the last ones, I suspect, are going to be in that cave. The zealots will be in there. So we'll go over this way. We've got There's an acolyte right there that I'm going to take down. And then I'm going to fly over the top. Uh, actually, no, I won't. I'll just wander over and I'll get that one over there. And then once I've done that bit... There, there goes one. So I've done that bit. Uh, let's get this one. It's the last idol. There we go. And then... It's too far away. Nope. You right there. Take you out very quickly. I'm hoping that that one over there doesn't get close enough. Yeah. you just got to back up a little bit as you go like that. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Yeah, because that one would have been close enough, I think, to be aggroed by us if we weren't careful. There. There's that one. And now I need the zealots. The zealots are the ones that are going to be inside that cave. It's the only place now that we've got any left. So we go right inside here. I should have just kept going. Because that's an acolyte there. Ah, zealots. 
That's the ones we want. Let's go with these. Ignore this acolyte for a minute. Actually, no, I won't. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that, and I'm going to just go with these three right here because I've taken a bit of damage. More damage than I thought I was going to. These zealots seem to be a bit overzealous with what they're doing, and they're hurting me. You, you don't need to. You know, there's a step There's a step too far sometimes. I know that you've got a part to play and that your queen has told you that you need to do certain things, but honestly... Sometimes you, you do take things a little bit too far. You have been known to go just a little step too far on, these, on, on, on this occasionally. Let's take you and... Can I reach you? No. I cannot. Can I go up here and do it? Ah, well, I can persuade him to come down and see me. That's all I needed to do. So we got two of these right here. I don't want to go too far into the cave. Because all that's going to happen is I'm going to have to go all the way back out of the cave again. And that's going to be a jolly nuisance. And I, I don't really want to do that. So let's let's do it like this. There, there's four of eight. Four of eight so far. What's that over there? That's an acolyte over there. I don't want acolytes. I'm just going to have to wander all the way into the cave anyway. Just know it. Zealot. Zealot. Uh, well, there's two there. There's another one down there. I need to get closer. Let's persuade him to come up here and have a little chat. And you, and then you in there. Is there, anyone, is there no one else in here, is there? No. All right, let's do this a minute. Is that the same guy? Is that the guy that was helping us? I don't remember what his name was, to be honest. I really don't. You know, he, he was helping us out. Then uh, he followed us all the way with that quest, and he helped us out big time with that one. And then he went off. We kind of went our separate ways for a little while. He's back. It is that same guy. It is him. Let's just give him a wave. Now we can wander back up through here. And let's see if there is any more. I need one more. One more zealot in this cave somewhere. There's one directly beneath us, but I don't want that one. There is an acolyte there. I don't want that one either. We just wallop that one. Uh, oh, no! There is no more zealots. If we want another zealot, we can either have to wait for a respawn or we're going to have to go back down to the bottom in order to get it. I didn't want that to happen. I did not want to have to wait for respawns, but we're going to have to. So we're going to come down here. We're going to get another one. And then we're going to go... Which way are we going to go? I think we have to go all the way around. Yeah, we have to go around this way. Let's just take this one out first a minute. And then... Once I've done that, then we can go. We'll, we'll be able to run back up to the top again. I'm wondering if it might actually be quicker to hearthstone out of here. And then fly back to the Murloc in question. Don't think it will be. I think it'd be quicker just to run out like this. We'll ignore everything now, and then we just run round in a big circle until we get back up to the entrance. Well, of course, the big problem with doing this is that we now get the respawns that we wanted just now. Um, although they're the wrong respawns. I'm getting acolytes here, and we didn't want acolytes anyway. These ac these are persistent little devils. They really are. Look, they're, they're not... They're just not leaving. Go away. Leave me alone. Right. Seriously, how far did... Sometimes I want these things to chase me, right? I, I want them to chase me so that I can gather up a whole load of them. And they all just turn around and they run away. Really, really quickly. They give up, they run away after just like 10 yards. He's still going. You're very overzealous on this dude. You're very, very overzealous. How far am I going to be able to run this guy? I reckon... I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe I could run him all the way to Stormwind. He's slowly killing himself, but this this doesn't help, right? This this absolutely doesn't help. The fact that every time he does damage to me, he's taking damage to himself, and that's a uh, that's, that's something that's yeah. I, I reckon that's probably partly to do with it, but that's that's a very long way to drag him, isn't it? Because he's damaging himself each time he hits me with that new ability that we've got. I think that's partly why he kept following me, because you know, I was well, technically. According to him, I wasn't ignoring him. I was doing damage back, and that kept his interest. At least that's what I think. Right, let's go and speak to you. 
Neptul. Right, false idols. You make an old Murloc proud, human. Thank you, and may the waves ever lap at your feet. The last rock pool may be taken hostage today and killed tomorrow, Landwalker, but they will pass into the underworld knowing that a brave human avenged their death. Thank you. Oh, I've got to choose a reward. Right, uh, we, ooh. Ooh, we got, a, we got a, a dodge ring there. Avenging the rock pool. And we've reached level 61. And there's not much difference in the XP required for the next level either. It's, it seems that you can just keep going with these here. Uh, right, so, so 58 versus... A Wait a minute, what do we got? Uh, versatility or crit? It's going to take out the crit, but it's also going to remove the strength one, isn't it? I don't need to do that. Um, five, lose five versatility, gain seven critical strike and eight strength. I'd rather have that. So we'll swap that one over. Yeah, that's better. That's, that's a better mix. Okay, and then we've also got these, the big mouth clams. This gives us zesty clam meat. And I'm pretty sure we had a thing for zesty clam meat, didn't we? Or did we? Maybe we didn't. Uh, did we not? I thought we did. We don't have anything now. I've got caps lock on. Um, ah, there. Clamlet Magnifique. Five, oh no, just a zesty clam, we, uh, uh, clam meat. We need that one. Or the Undermine Clam Chowder. Get that from the Badlands. Or from the Cape of Stranglethorn. Where's the Badlands? This is the Blasted Lands here. The Badlands is up. No, oh, that's Loch Moden. Badlands, that's in that zone there. Okay, well, we won't worry about that, but we will open these. Ooh, we've got a pearl. It's the, per still the pearls used to be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, so I think the small lustrous pearls are worth more than the iridescent ones on the auction house, but they were all worth money. They were all worth getting. Not so much anymore, I don't think. Um, even with the changes to the crafting systems and that, I still don't think the pearls are worth that much anymore. Uh, let's not worry about that. So we have actually run out of time for today's episode. Unfortunately, we're going to half back now. We've got the three amulets that are ready. So we can turn those in there in our next episode to that dude. And um, we can finish off that bit. And I'm starting to think because we've already reached level 61. At this rate, we're not going to be doing anything in Outland. We're just going to be continuing to work here. Uh, but... By the time I record another episode, all of you will have been able to give me some input. So do you want me to stay here in the Badlands and finish this zone? Or do you want me to stop now and move on to Outland? And we'll do our next nine levels in Outland. How are you? Um, make sure you get into the comment section and let me know on that one. And then when I record my next episode... I'll have been able to see that, and then I can act on it. Uh, broken amulet. This doesn't seem to be magical at all. No sale price. Okay, I'm not really sure what that one is, but uh, anyway. Let's move that lot around a little bit. Some of this stuff is going to... We, we're going to have to do a lot of sorting out of our bags before we eventually finish up. That's soulbound. We can go. Uh, that's soulbound. That can go. That can go. And the rest can stay. Okay. See you later. So, there we go. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.